I've been wanting to react to this for the longest time. Dirtiest street food in India. I've been hearing about this. I knew. I've seen these and I'm not going to India. Viewer discretion is advised. I know y'all be up watching this when you're eating. Stop eating right now. This video, you want to finish your food first. Come back to it. Does anybody even know what that was? I see watching. And just, I just keep thinking, like, imagine just scratching their butts, their necks, touching shit, and now it's, oh, yeah, I gotta finish this dish. Yeah. Pick my nose. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I chew. <choose. laughs> there's no grading system here. I mean, there's nobody watching over them. Like, if I went there for one week, I don't I, I don't know if I could die from a bacteria. You could, right? Yeah. 100% well, could. Or I would just have food poisoning and be throwing up and shitting for weeks. So maybe if you're in India, you have a better, like, immune system. Yeah, because you're probably starting this off the junk. Because why like, would you willingly really buy that? Chef <laughs> it up. <laughs> Boy, chef it. He's elbows deep in there. If that's going on my plate, I don't want it. I like the bread. Soaked bun. I know y'all fucking with the soaked buns. See, this is what this is what would be coming out of me. What the? What the? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you use your hand though. If you have a whole setup for the supplies, can you at least afford it? Use one of the plastic bags where your hand is. Is there any option for maybe a pair of gloves? <laughs> at least. Because like, then that takes away some of the flavor that you need for this sort of. It's a fine cuisine. Like, is it part of the culture? Like, look at the emoji. It's delicious. <laughs> People are drooling for yeah, that. Yeah, the emoji is drooling for this. <laughs> I can understand wanting to have gloves when you're making stuff like that because you have debris in your fingernail. You have dead skin. I got dead skin on my fucking things. Nah, but th they're trying to just worry about surviving over there. That's all they can get, I think. Yeah. And that's better than going through the trash for people. You know what I mean, though? Like, is most of their food made like this? Like, just home-cooked meals? Or is this just a very popular, it's everywhere you go? It's I think always this has to be like a poverty... That sort of area. Area. I need the Indians in the comments to stand up and tell me what going on over there because no human should be their food shouldn't be prepared by, in that way you're putting the drink into a bag can you get a ladle or something or just like do the same thing with a with a spoon or a cup cup, a cup. A, a cup into that i i don't need chef ramsey's in high-tech technology and shit just can we get a spoon maybe now where is this going stop stop stop, stop, stop. Look, look at those at toes the Oh my god, it's like a thing. What? Indians, can you help me out here? What is this for? Ah, Stop. okay, 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 Stop. wait a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, that one, I've never had something just shock me more than that clip right there. Did she just taste it and spit it back in there? I did not think it could get worse. How much of that is saliva in there? What I thought was also hilarious was they're pouring the curry and rice on the dirt-soaked pavement ground and then it's like the person with the world's gnarliest feet also serving it to you. Out of all the types of feet, it was the grossest feet of the person. It's part of the experience. They were eating it like they, was, a, they had a lineup. She ended it in the dinner for the night and no one even blinked. They're used to this. You know what I think that is though? She's blending something in her mouth or like crunching it up and then spitting it out. You know what I mean? Like they made yeah, a yeah, blender. She clearly didn't spit just to spit. She put something in her mouth to put back in there. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Babies. So they've been doing this for like centuries then. Nah, yeah, I feel like tribes and stuff from so different parts of the world do crazy. So, so do you think if this has already been in their bloodline, by the time you're born and even have this, it doesn't really affect your insides because they've evolved to handle that. We would get sick if we went and ate. I think I would die. I've had a hot dog before and got food poisoning. I'm terrified to eat anything if from you, somebody's hand. But you alone. had one sip of anything from here, you're gonna have a 109 degree fever in about 30 minutes and they'll be carting you out like, yeah, he ain't from here. <laughs> it was the curry, wasn't it? It's where you're puking up when you're, there's nothing left. Like you've spit out everything inside of your body. Oh, They're so making any dish though, right? They're just making stuff up. <laughs> Soggy bun, mashed potato, onion drizzle? Did she literally pour like the mashed potatoes on the ground. Yeah, did they? Can't y'all do burger? <laughs> hamburger? It's like, what am I ordering? Y'all got tenders or something that I can recognize here. You got a hot, wet, sticky bun, foot flavored fucking You gotta rice. be from there. You gotta be from there. If you know, you know. 
No portion size, you just fucking toss it, dude. Bro, what is that? I feel like he could make it, but he ain't even gotta do it like that. Oh, don't wash your hands in the. Yo! His sweat dropped. That flavor is part of it. Now, what is that? Let me look. He's going to lie. Why? Hey, man, that is. Has that machine been washed? I really want to go and give happy. Probably her new skip and I no longer. Roman is next. Look at that. Did Johnny that? Okay. Pour it from the hand to the. What did that do? Why does it have to hit they the hand hit first? It. And here's your drink. It strains it. And maybe they're washing their hands at least 15 times a day. I mean, they're washing their shit in the food, so. Yeah. They're using their food to wash their hands. Mmm, yeah. birthday cake. Oh, we got no spoons. But. What is that? And that's how they clean the dishes. Just washing my. He's washing the plates in the sewer water. It's got gasoline and oils and dirt and stuff coming out in the river. So, uh, like rat poop and yummy oil and shit. So for any of those that just try to eat during this, we try to warn you. This is the gross out episode. So I'm gonna save the grossest one for last. This is the second place gross award. Imagine it's a hot summer day in India. You're in Bangladesh. I've yet to identify any. You forgot of these to eat dinner last night, so you're extra hungry. You're on the go. You <laughs> come out of your hotel. You got some shit to do today, and you come up to this guy. I do <laughs> So they have spoons? Come on. Why does the ladle have to just be sitting at the? I have more questions than that. He has to put his whole ass arm in there every single time to get the ladle. Like, that doesn't make any sense. The ladle even has a little hook on the end of it so that you can just conveniently hang it on the outside or wherever. Like, are they trolling us at this point? What is going on? Why are there French, fly, French fries floating in the goop? Are those French fries? Bro, well, what are those? What are those? Yeah, because there's no, uh, like hiring, you know, sort of system where you go and interview. It's like, decide that day, like, okay, I'm gonna just start selling this. It's gonna make some extra cash. And what was that shit that he was in? Like, swamp matter. I think these are all concoctions of stuff. Like, oh, extra buns, let's make soggy bun dish. Fries, let's throw that in the stew. I think that's what this is. And you just make it up? And that was, I like his point there. Why don't you just put the ladle, they have it built like that for a reason, on the side of the glass, and then you can scoop the stuff in. You gotta deep, put your hand all the way, elbow deep. No, these have been on my, like, algorithm. I watched, like, four, and now this is on my thing every day. And there's, yeah, there's a lot of these, too. This is the best one. Now you can bring your food out if you want to even watch this one. What is that? What vitamins are in there? You're not getting your nutrients from that, I'll tell you that. Like, in order to make that consistency, you need some ingredients. What's in that? Like, What is that, sir? Did you just put in there? Oh, oh my god! god. Hey. No! Appreciate that. Like he's, gra like he's grabbing a Starbucks order. Three, six, seven. Yeah, that's me. Can we agree that was like the worst one? See, like my everything would just rip apart the second I took it with one sip. I actually feel sick. Oh, same. I ate earlier and I feel like my stomach turning right now. It's foods that I'm like, what even is that? It's not like, oh, that's disgusting chicken or oh, that's expired milk. There are substances I've never seen. That How do you make it even sticky like that? Can you name something other than Nickelodeon slime that is that sticky? It's the aloe vera. And it's served by the dirtiest people too. <laughs> His toes toe a butt hanging over the right. bucket. And they're making this just in a butt. Like I hope they clean that. Well, they cleaned it with the, they, they cleaned it with the sewer water down clean. the street. I thought like that's part of the, the appeal is dirty, unshowered person serving the dirtiest shit ever. It wouldn't make sense if you were yeah. clean 
plain. It wouldn't, it wouldn't sell really. So you're kind of getting the whole experience. Comment. I'm guessing it's aloe vera and bambo juice mixed with brown sugar and spices. None of them want to like maybe clean up, like be, if I was out there, I'd be like, oh, okay. I don't have, my competition is easy. Like I, I could be the best seller here if I just clean up a little. Everybody wants to be dirty. Like that's their thing. Like you said, sanitation isn't even part of the question when it comes to just India food. is huge. Like this must be so popular. I think on maybe, I don't know if it's small areas or big areas have money. I think most of India poverty stricken. That's still, even like African nations with poor tribes are cooking up like cows and goats mm -hmm. and shit. And it's, you can see what the food so is. Like none of this, it look like they hunted for them. I don't know where they got this from. A whole bunch of leftovers just kind of all in one. Like he's just scraping up anything yeah. they can kind of find it. Like yeah. might look like it, you might be able to Eat it. Like what can I make out of this? And they said, you forgot the main ingredient, my man. Shit. That guy don't even know what's in there. Thanks for trying to justify this brown saliva mixed drink. Ain't happening, bud. Nah, I guess it's a mix of diarrhea, dirty cum, dead woman organs, and shit. That sneeze you hear in the background is them preparing another tub. The Big only way cup of gobble the gook. <laughs> the only way to describe this. Big cup. Bro is creating. <laughs> These comments are funny. Bro is creating his own diseases. <laughs> aloe vera, mucus shit, diarrhea, vomit, and spices. This looks mostly like a form of aloe juice, very common in tropical parts, including Southern India. And while the texture looks somewhat similar, slimier than what I've seen, it has enormous health benefits. Keeping your body cool in the summer cap and it does taste surprisingly yummy please don't make derogatory remarks about what you don't understand come on dog there's no keep it a buck way bro. that's healthy for you i know that that's culture and that's thing and i don't understand but come on bro like if that was my culture i couldn't even defend that shit i understand health code this ain't up the um code i understand how germs work yeah there's certain things i do understand <laughs> i know that this is your culture but in my culture we have germs and i know they exist in your culture as well so that's sort of the main thing here i've gotten food poisoning from much less stuff so this already i can't even imagine are there gonna be <laughs> indians in the comments saying like hey like i eat this every day i there's, don't think so right there's a net i feel like there's inevitably gonna be indian people being like hey i just had indian food the other day was that indian food in new york that was bomb it was i remember we had that shit i think i was extremely nauseous after because i ate so much that was delicious like what is that's what i'm curious where's the delicious indian food i hope they don't make it like this i need to go to my favorite indian restaurant can i look at the back can i just peek y'all got this do y'all you, you, you have the gobbledygook <laughs> like gobbledygook here right can we go to our nearest local bangladesh restaurant and be like can i just have, like, you know what this is or or is this a street made up <laughs> let me get uh what <laughs> That's a good one. It only has four likes. Let me say, let me get uh, w one cup of literal shit. I can't read it. They willingly ordered that. The guy's hand was out ready to grab the handle of the cut. Thank you. The naan bread and the chicken tikka masala and the fucking butter chicken. You know, I can get behind that. I just had that shit that, like a few days ago. That shit was busting. I've never tried the, the naan with the gobble gook. The wet bun. The wet bun is kind of good. Sticky bun. That's, That's what the they side, did with the sidewalk mashy potatoes. Oh, how could I forget the sidewalk mashy potatoes <laughs> with toe fungus flavor. I can't even call it mashed potatoes because it's not worthy. Like, what was that? What was mashed with that lady's foot, probably? I hope you enjoyed your meal to this video today. That was this is one of my favorite ones. Should we react to more? Should we find more videos? Because there's a trillion of these videos. Let us know. Peace out.